Come and visit Spain with this traditional sweet breakfast treat. The one we all know and love, churros. Hello memory makers and welcome back to Mills Make Memories. Now this simple recipe will give you churros that are crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside and you'll only need a few ingredients. So first you need your dry ingredients in a bowl, so that's one cup of plain flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg and a few shakes of salt, so around half a teaspoon of salt. Mix those all together and when you're done you need to just make a little well in the center because that's where your wet ingredients are going to go. So you'll need one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. You'll then need to add one cup of hot water and I stress hot water, that's really important because that heat is what is going to make your batter really gummy and will help you when it comes to piping this out later into the oil. And you'll see that as you continue to mix, the batter will become slightly stretchy and sticky and that's the time to transfer it into your piping bag. Now I've discovered that the quickest and mess free way to get a good transfer into your piping bag is to fold the piping bag over your thumb and index finger. And then you can scrape your spatula, whatever you're using to transfer your batter, directly into the bag, scraping it off against the arch made by your thumb and index finger. For the ridges on your churros, you're going to need to use a star-shaped nozzle, wow that's a tongue twister, at the end of your piping bag. And as a test to see if your batter is thick enough, you should be able to squeeze them out and cut it with a pair of scissors. Heat enough oil in a smallish sized saucepan to shallow fry the batter. Once you've cut your batter to your desired length, leave to fry until golden brown. Then, once you're done, remove from the saucepan, block with kitchen towel and then serve as you wish. I like mine traditional style, churros con chocolate, so some melted chocolate, but you could also serve this sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon. And while we're feeling festive, Make sure you check out my daily uploads from now until Christmas Day with the best bakes for Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more easy recipes. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.